Well, most people think the music industry, quote unquote, is, and has been for years, is the record industry. And, and it, that's part of it, but it's not all of it. The record industry is just one facet of three that tie together into one thing called the music industry. Um, the first is the record industry, which is what? Selling records. And, and boy, is that thing changing right now. Um, you know, years, five years ago, if we were having this conversation, a big artist, the biggest selling record in the world would have been 15 million records. This year, barely hits 4 million. So this whole thing is changing. But the first industry is the record industry, and that simply is selling records. And, and so that's how an, a part of the industry generates revenue, is they sell records. Um, and then the second part of that is the publishing industry. And the publishing industry has to do with songwriting and getting songs published, having other people uh, record them for you. Or if you've written them and recorded them, you get royalties off record sales and you get royalties off uh, radio airplay. Uh, and that's another way to generate revenue, part of the industry. The third part is uh, the live industry, going out on stage and performing. And what most people don't know is that probably 90 to 100 percent, if you're an indie artist, it's 100 percent, of your revenue will come from what you do on stage. And the irony in this whole thing, and this is what I've watched for years and years and years and years, uh, is artists will spend six months recording a record. Or, I mean, we're talking a high-end record, but I actually have had conversations with artists that'll spend six months hundreds of thousands of dollars recording records. But even if it's not a massive big artist, they'll still spend weeks and, and weeks and weeks in the studio tweaking stuff and getting it right and all the stuff that goes around to make the record. You know, you start getting into the artwork and you start getting into that whole entire process. Um, it, it takes months and months of time. Then they'll spend, when I ask them how long does it take to write a song, they'll write songs, well, forever, but when you start thinking about how do I put this into a quanti quantitative time frame, some artists will say, I write songs four, five, six months a year. I had one artist, when they were um, doing their sophomore record, I asked him these questions. And he had recorded six months, their, their second record. He had written for six months. He had brought um, a massive amount of songs uh, to the record company. They kept one. Actually, he'd written over 40 songs. He'd taken 17 to the record company, and the record company said, we'll record one of these songs. Now, you've got to go back and rewrite and co-write and faux-write, whatever you do to write, to make these songs better. And I asked him afterwards, I said, how long did it take you to write the, the songs for that record? And he goes, I bet it took me six months. I said, so let's move over to the live industry. And he was going out on tour, the biggest tour of his life. And I said, uh, how many dates? He goes, ah, oh, we're doing 50 dates on this tour. And probably around 1,800 to 2,200 people a night is what they're expecting. I said, so to get ready for this tour, the biggest tour of your life, how long did you take? He said, uh, three days. I said, so let me get this straight. It took you six months to record, six months to write the songs, and three days to get ready for the tour. He goes, yeah. I said, let me ask you this. If we're just talking crass, money, where does your revenue, out of percentage out of those three industries? And he said, I probably make, wow, 90, 95% of my money comes from my show. I said, does that seem a little whacked? You spend three days on the thing that, that generates 90% of your revenue. You spend six months on the thing, how much did you make from your record, your first record? Which, by the way, this first record for this artist, had won New Artist of the Year, and they were nominated for a Grammy. And he said, uh, took him six months and he made zero. Made no money, did not recoup. Now, let me say this, is that bad? Well, it's bad, but, but really what that record is, is a promotional tool for their tour, in many ways. I mean, now there are certain artists that, you know, they record that record, and this happens, less and less all the time, and it becomes a massive hit. I'm working with artists right now that's just like that. Massive hit, they win the lottery. But for every one of those that wins the lottery, 
there are literally millions of artists that make nothing from their, their uh, record or their CD or their recording. So the three facets are the recording industry, the publishing industry, and the live music industry. And, and what I try to encourage people to do is recognize that the live show, what you do on stage is the thing that generates more revenue than anything else in most cases.